Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part six of the innings 9.3. We already done few problems. You can have a look at the previous video. So here we'll start with question number 12. A property dealer bought a flat for rupees 12 lakhs 50,000. He spent rupees 2 lakhs 50,000 on its repairing and installing air conditioners, water cooler and geysers in the flat. Then he sold it for rupees 20 lakhs. Find his gain percentage. So we'll write the given things first. That is the CP of a flat that is 12,050 plus he is spending 2 lakhs 50,000 on it on the repairing and all that stuff. So we have to add this one. So what is that going to be? This is going to be total 15 lakhs. So now the selling price of a flat is 20 lakhs. So definitely there is a profit, but then they have asked what is the gain percentage. So gain or profit both is the same. So gain is selling price. First we'll see what is the gain. Selling price minus cost price, that will be 20 minus 15 lakhs. That is going to be five lakhs. So now we want a gain percentage. So this is the formula. Gain divided by CP into 100. So gain is five lakhs divided by the cost price that is 15 lakhs into 100 so these two zeros get cut again you have there are three zeros there are also three zeros so this will be 500 divided by 15 so we'll do it 500 divided by 15 15 threes are 45 so here will be again 15 threes are 45 so now we'll put here one zero or we can do one thing here. This we can write as 33 5 by 15. So we'll do right now in the mixed fraction. And then this is going to be 5 ones are 5 threes. Are. So it will be 33 integers 1 by 3 percentage. Anyways, you can write it or you can also write here 33.33 .33 because this will go on 50 means 0.30. 3, 3, 3 will go on. So that is going to be 33.33 percentage. Both is the same. So we can write his gain percentage 33 integers 1 by 3 percentage. A man buys 10 oranges for rupees 30 and sells them for rupees 42 per dozen. Find his gain or loss percentage. So now let us write the given things here. Cost price of, because now we have to see here, this is 10 oranges and this is per dozen means these are 12 oranges so now we will see cost price of 10 oranges is given as 30 so first we'll see the cost price of one orange that is going to be 30 divided by 10 so that is going to be one orange is going to be rupees 3 so now what is given is sell set rupees 42 per dozen so selling price of 12 oranges per one dozen that is 12 oranges that is 42 so selling price of one orange again we'll see that is 42 divided by 2 12 so that will be 6 twos are and 6 sevens are. So that will be 7 by 2. So 7 divided by 2. So 2 threes are 6. This is 0. So it is going to be 5 and this 10. So it will be 3.50. So selling price is 3 rupees and 50 paise. So now they said find the gain or loss percentage. So definitely there is a gain because the selling price is more. So profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So whenever there is a gain of this loss percentage, whatever is there, so either we have to put a, we have to find out profit first or profit or loss. And then we have to find out the percentage. So now this is selling price minus cost price. So this selling price is 3.50 and this is 3. So the profit is rupees, that is 50 paise, 0.50. So now this formula we have profit percentage is equal to. So did you see here, why did we take profit? So we have the profit here in the formula. We have we have to find out this profit here. So here profit divided by CP into 100. So here profit is 0 0.50 divided by this cost price we got as 3 into 100. So now see here to simplify this if we are doing this without a KLC. So this 0.50 we can write as 50 divided by 100. So this is here and the denominator 3 into 100. So now numerator will keep as it is. 
and the denominator three means this is going to be three by one so this is going to get flip over so that will be one by three into hundred so you have to be very careful with this one whenever there is a whole number so this hundred and hundred gets cut so what remains is 50 divided by three so 50 divided by three so it will be three ones are three 20 three six are 18 so this remainder is true so we can also write this as 16 integers 2 by 3 so that is 16 integers 2 by 3 percentage so we, they have asked what is the gain percentage so his gain percentage is 16 integers 2 by 3 percentage the cost price of nine toffees is rupees one what should be the selling price in order to make a gain of 80 percent so cost price of nine toffees that is rupees one and selling price of nine toffees will be because that is a gain of 80 percent means 180 of rupees one so that will be 180 this whenever percentage sign means you have to divide by 100 of means multiplication and this is one so this will be 180 divided by 100 so that is going to be 1.80 because there are two zeros you have to go backwards and put a decimal so selling price of nine of is is 1.80 that is what they said what should be the selling price in order to make a gain of 80 percent now here a shopkeeper buys 60 articles for the piece 12 these are 60 articles for the piece 1200 and sells them at a profit of 16 percent you have to find the selling price of one article so now cost price of an article is given as of 60 articles is given as So, uh, the other piece, 1200. So, profit percentage is given 16%. So, we have the formula profit percentage is equal to profit divided by CP into 100. So, profit percentage is 16. So, we'll write here 16. We don't know what is the profit here. And the cost price is given as 1200. So, into 100. So, what will you do? This gets cut. So now what will you do? This 12, we will take it on the left hand side. So 16 into 12 and what remains here is just profit. So when you multiply this, this is going to be 192 is equal to profit. So now we want a selling price. So what will we do here? For that we know we will see profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So profit is 192. We don't know the selling price and the cost price is 1200. It's given here. So now if you bring this minus 1200 on this side that is going to be plus 1200 and the selling price this will be on the right hand side so when you add this that is going to be 1392 rupees so that is the selling price but this whatever the selling price you got this is for the that is given us for the 60 articles we want a selling price of one article so now what will be selling price of 60 articles is 1392 so here you have to be very careful so selling price of one article so that what are you going to do here so you are going to divide it so that will be 1392 divided by 6 so when you divide it you get 23.20 you can check so we will write a selling price of one article is rupees 23.20 so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you